Turn that shit up, TNT. JJ Nate. Yeah. Why you started to Hey, welcome back. We got another Hood uh, Cooking Chronicles, man. And today what we got whipping up is a penitentiary slam, but only problem is we just not in the penitentiary, so we just gonna add a little more ingredients. Probably my, probably not even a little more ingredients, because they probably got add some other shit that I don't even add, you know? So it's just my little hood slam, you know? Something that... Fills me up during the night, you know, something like that, you know. So thank you, man. Welcome back, man. Hood cooking chronicles. What we gonna do? We just gonna boil the water and let it boil. Give it a cup of about, I say three, four minutes. It should start boiling. While we wait in on the water to boil for the noodles, we gonna bust the noodles open, even though they already been busted open. We just need one pack. One pack. Probably got to take. One pack of beefaroni, beefaroni, however you want to put it. Yes, sir. And we're going to bust that open. I don't know how y'all feel about the situation, but on the ramen noodles and stuff like that, I like to crunch them up. Not like crunch them, crunch them up because that's nasty. I think they like, it's, they feel like maggots. But at the same damn time, man, I just crunch them up into four pieces. You know, that's all I do. Crunch them up into four pieces. And then, that's all. And make sure they're in just four pieces. Because I like my shit stringy, but not stringy. I, I, I don't really like it too stringy, you know. Now, we just gonna dump all the noodles that we just crushed up into there. You see it's boiling. It's hot, hot. But you see the package, you just wanna take the package out if you would. Now that we got the package out. See it's boiling, we just keep mixing it around till it gets all the way, you know. How you like it? I don't know how y'all like it. I don't like my shit soggy. I do not like my stuff soggy. You see it's boiling, we're gonna be done with that, man. Cause like I said, I don't like it soggy, man. It's nasty. You know, real nasty if it's real soggy. Now, while we're waiting on the noodles to get done, we're going to put and chop up some black olives. I don't know if y'all like black olives. I love them, man. I can feed them straight out the can. But, man, black olives we better chop up. After we done drained the juice, we're just going to take, depending on how many you want, like I said, I love black olives, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to give me a quite a few. And you just chop them up. That's all you got to do is just keep chopping them up, man. Now you got your olives. Now that the noodles are done, you definitely got to put some butter in it because butter got some flavor. Butter definitely got some flavor for it. So I'm going to take the butter. We only need about like just a tad bit of it. Since it's just like one person eating. Just a tad bit of it. Not too much. We're going to stir that up. While the noodles are hot. And that's about it. I'm going to finish right here. The noodles are about done. I think the noodles are about done. We just got to start adding our ingredients. <laughs> Who knows what we got for the ingredients? Well, I think I do. These are my ingredients. Some of them I do not now eat. We got our butter into our noodles. We got to cut up our beef jerky sticks. And you can't go wrong with some beef jerky sticks, you know. You know. Like a drumstick, you know, Nick Cannon. Now we're gonna break down the beef jerky sticks, you know. And we're just gonna slide them on the plate. Now that we got most of everything done, we're gonna just start putting the ingredients in. 
We got the pan of noodles, man. Still fresh and hot. Nice warm. So what we're going to do is we're going to dump the beef jerky in. Then we're going to dump the olives. After we do that, I don't know if y'all like ranch. We just gonna try it out. I, I've never tried it. Like I said, it's a slam. It's my first time actually. I tried all this other stuff, but not this yet. Like I said, I just wanna try something new. How about you? Looking ass. And I do not have hot sauce. So I'm gonna use this. It's called chicken sauce. It's actually like mild hot sauce because I really don't like hot sauce. It's like mild hot sauce. We're going to dip a little bit of that in there. And then, like I said, I, I, I don't really don't eat too much hot stuff. I really don't. But I'm going to try it out today. We're going to crunch these up. We're going to try these out. And last but not least, it's not last but not least, I'm just joking with you. I guess still got a couple things to put in. I'm going to put in the regular sauce all over it just to make sure it's all over that, all over the stuff, all over the stuff. Everything that's in it is going to get a little taste of this. Like I said, I know I took off my gloves, but this is all for me, man. Now, finally, after all this, man, we're going to take what we just cooked up. Throw it on a plate. It's actually looking better than what I thought. Looks like a mess, but it's better than what I thought. Now that we got everything um, situated, we're just gonna spread the cheese out. And this is real cheese, real cheddar cheese. Good stuff, good stuff. I was about to say, and um, I think we got our finer product. I'm not sure, man. Yep, yep, we do. That's what we did. And that's what it looks like, and that's what it looks like on our final piece of art of the Hood Cooking Chronicles. Why you niggas tricking? I was on the block creeping. Why you niggas sleeping? Dreaming, dreaming. Why you niggas tricking? I was on the block creeping. Why you niggas sleeping? Dreaming, dreaming.